here's an example of linear programming problem where we have to formulate LPP. So to formulate LPP, we'll have to first arrive at objective function and constraints. So what problem states that there are two kinds of shoes, shoes A and shoes B. Shoes A is of superior type and it takes three times more time that the second kind of shoe takes. So if the second kind of shoe takes one hour, then shoe A, that is the first kind, will take three hours. And there are other parameters given here. The maximum number of shoes that the company can produce is 650 pairs per day and maximum of 150 pairs of the first kind and 400 of the second kind. So let's find the objective function first. Objective function Z, which is to maximize profit. Now, profit per pair of shoe A and shoe B is given. So let's assume that there are X pairs, X pairs of shoe A and Y pairs of shoe B. Profit per pair, what is the profit per pair for first kind is 400 and second kind is 105 rupees. This is per pair. So for X pairs, it's going to be 400X. For Y pairs, it's going to be 105 into Y. You're going to add, if you add, you're going to get the total profit. So what is objective function? 400X plus 105Y. Now let's arrive at constraints. So what are the main two types of shoes we have? Shoes A and shoe B. So shoe A, shoe B. What are the other variables we have? We have time. Time is the only variable. Time taken to manufacture the shoes. So shoes A takes three times more time than shoe B. So if shoe B is taking one hour, Shoe A will take 3 hours. And what is the maximum amount of shoes that can be sold? So, number of shoes that can be sold per day. Sold per day. So, shoe A, the maximum number of shoes that can be sold per day for shoe A is 150 pairs. And second type is 400. This is max. 150 max. And what's the total number of shoes that can be produced per day? Total. Total shoe A and shoe B, if you add together, only 650 per day. Now let's come up with linear equation. So first constraint we will write. So it's taking three hours per shoes. So for X pairs, it's going to be three into X. And shoe B, it's going to take one hour into Y. Because Y pairs of shoes B. What's going to be the first constraint? 3x plus 1y, which is y. And the total shoes that can be produced per day is 650. So this should be less than or equal to 600, 650. This is the first constraint. The second constraint is only 150 pairs of shoes can be sold per day at the max. So it's, it's either less than or equal to 150. So what is the second constraint? Second constraint is number of shoes that can be sold per day. The number of shoes that can be sold is less than or equal to 150. Second constraint. What is the third constraint? Y shoes. Y can again be less than or equal to 400 because it's max. So if you say max, that means it should be less than or equal to. And this is the third constraint. Uh, the last constraint is X should be greater than or equal to 0 y should be greater than or equal to 0. So obviously, right, we cannot have negative number of shoes being manufactured. 